Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here with another quick tip for people who use LearnDash. And this video is intended for anyone who has a front end facing website as well as a LearnDash course, all hosted within the same WordPress platform. So, like this with the Astra demo uh, site here, you can have a really nice looking front end website and a LearnDash platform with courses all hosted within WordPress. But what you might find as an owner of a site like this is that you only want search engines to index your front end pages and not necessarily your LearnDash content. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can have some control over that. So as an admin, I'm going to log in here and go to the dashboard. If you've got a front end facing website, chances are you probably use the Yoast SEO plugin. And if you don't, it's probably worth a, worth a look at. This video is going to rely on the features of Yoast to be able to do these, these things. So within your platform, to check what is being shown to Google, a good way of doing this is to head to the address bar and then at your learning platform type forward slash sitemap.xml. And this is something that's generated by Yoast SEO. And it's kind of an, in an inventory of all of the content of your platform. And it has things like blog posts, pages, as well as things like WooCommerce products in there. And what search engines would do is come to this site, go to each of these links and be like, oh, okay, I need to index these pages here and these pages. And it just gives them a full inventory of all the pages of your site that should be included in search engine results. But you might find that you don't actually want courses, lessons, topics, quizzes, certificates, and things like that appearing in search engine results. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can do that. So we're going to go back to the WordPress dashboard here, and then scroll down to SEO here, and then look for search appearance. Under content types, We'll just click on the content types tab here. We have a list of all the content types on here. And we've got things like posts, pages, products, courses, lessons. And this is where you might want to hide some of these. So we'll open up courses here and say showing search results off. Lessons, likewise, we'll turn that to off. Topics, off. Quizzes, off certificates off and there we've gone through a number of the product the, the the page types that we don't actually want to appear in google and turn them to off so we'll just click on save changes here likewise you might also want to look at taxonomies here so if we click onto this tab here you can choose whether or not to show things like categories and tags if you did enable things like course tags, lesson categories, and lesson tags, you can also hide these here. So I'm going to turn off course categories, course tags, lesson categories, and lesson tags, and lesson and topic categories, and topic tags, and then click Save Changes. So what we've now said is that we don't want search engines to start indexing all of that, all of those types of pages. So if I go back to this sitemap.xml file now and refresh it, we'll see that this list has slimmed down a lot and it's taken out anything to do with LearnDash. Well, I can see actually we've got essays and assignments in there. So I'm just going to go back in there and um, make sure that those are, are hidden. Submitted essays, off. Assignments, off. And I'll click Save Changes and then go back to sitemap.xml and we'll slim that down even more. And now we're really only including the bits that we do actually want search engines to include within their results. So we hope this find, you find this useful and a good way of isolating which bits of content you want to appear in search engines.